Good morning everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Leaf Classes. I am Anjali. Children, today I have taken a program, a sample program. This program I gave you in Telegram channel also for the practice. So today I will be telling you how to do the program in the correct way in the examination. Children, please listen to the suggestions given by me and try to do the program in the same way in your examination. So the program which I have taken today is of function overloading. The question says, design a class to overload a function series. The function name is given series as follows. And if you notice here, three functions are there and all the functions have the same name series. So if a program may ek se jada function ka naam same hoga, to program kaun se hote hain? Function overloading ke programs hote hain. And definitely I will suggest you to attempt function overloading program if it is present in your question paper. Because this is going to be the easiest program in your exam, right? Uh, what these functions are doing, that is also mentioned in the question always. Now, if you notice here, nothing is written about main function. So, essay questions, function overloading ke ya fir class programs ke, jis mein main function mein kya karna hai, it is not specified directly or indirectly then you don't have to write the main function. Main function hum tabhi likhenge when it is specified in the question, right? So children, one thing that you miss always, that you don't put the correct question number. Please put the question number according to the question number of the question paper. Suppose this question is question number 5, then write 5 or 7 or 8 or 3. Whatever it is, put the correct question number. So, here you have to write the question number and then start the program with a comment entry. Start with double slash sign and write here. Say you can write function overloading program. I will always recommend to give the comment entry as the first statement, right? After this, if you notice here, the class name is not mentioned. So, you can give the class name of your choice or you can write say question number 5. Q5 also, like this you can write or you can give the class name as a series. Series, if you notice here, this function name which is given here, this series, the function name is all in lowercase. So, we can give the class name as capital S, series also, right? So, it is up to you. If the class name is not mentioned in the question, you can take the class name of your choice. Now, here, the first function says void series int x int n. So here we have to start the function definitions. Three function definitions of series, series, series we have to write. So sabse pehle hum karenge void series int x comma int n. Children, please don't change the variable names if any variable name is given in the question. Agar x hai to x likhoge, a hai to a likhoge, right? Now children, here it is mentioned to display the sum of the series given as x to the power 1 plus x to the power 2 and so on till x to the power n. So x is also received by this function and n is also received by this function. So, we have not input any values in the user se. from wherever this function is being called, the values are being passed to this function, right? So, we need a variable here to calculate the sum of the series. For this, we can take a double type variable, double s equals to 0, 0.0. Now, if you notice here, x, x, x. This is basis x and the power value is changing starting from 1 till n. So what is variable here? 1, 2, 3, 4 which is increasing every time by 1. So the looping variable we have to take starting from 1 till n as per the question. So we will take for int i equals to 1, i less than equals to n, i plus plus. Subse pehle i ki value kya hogi? 1, 2, 3, 4 and the final value is n or n humko hi haan se receive ho raha hai. 
So here you will say S equals to S plus math dot POW to calculate the power value we use POW function X comma I, right? X comma I you will give and you will close this braces. If one statement is there, then these braces are optional. And here you can write system dot out dot println. The sum is plus s and you close this function. So children like this we have used the for loop and since void is there. Agar void hai that means this function is not returning any value. So humko output to chahiye hai. So output is question mein likha it displays the output. That means print statement usme humko dena hoga. Right? So print statement se hum kya display kar rahe hai? S ki value. Similarly, we can write the function definition for this also. So here we will write another function definition. Void series and this function is taking only one parameter that is INTP. And if you see the function definition, what is written? To display the series 0, 7, 26, 63 up to P terms. P hum ko yaha pe pata hai, right? So, if you notice the terms, kaise calculate ho ra hai? 1 cube minus 1. 1 ka cube kya hota hai? 1 minus 1 is 0. 2 cube 8 minus 1 is 7. 3 cube is 27 minus 1 is 26. 4 cube is 64. 4 for the 16 for the 64, right? Minus 1 is 63. So how you are getting these terms? These terms you are getting by the cube of the numbers minus 1, right? Or 1 se leker p takhe terms ja rahe. 1 ka cube and the last will be p ka cube. So we will take the loop for i and t. i equals to 1. i less than equals to p. i plus plus. And now we have to print the terms. Kitni baar print karne hai? P times. So output bhi utni baar generate hoga. So anything what you want to repeat again and again should be inside the loop. Printing humko bohat baar chahiye. To printing statement kaha par hoga? Loop ke andar hoga. Yaha par humko print ke wal ek baar chahiye ta. Sum of the series. So print statement was outside the loop. Right? So directly with print statement also we can write the formula here. Or we can calculate it first and then with print statement we can print that value, right? So to print what we will use? Print statement system dot out dot print i into i into i minus 1, right? So you are finding the cube and then subtracting 1 from that. Here if you want you can use math.pow function also. But math.pow function kya return karta hai? Double type. Then maha par humko usko explicit conversion karke int mein convert karna padega, right? So if it is square or cube value, simply you multiply it twice or thrice depending on the question. So i into i into i, we have got the cube and then subtract one from that. Like this you have done and after this if you want, you have to print comma also. So you can say plus comma within the bracket, right? So this will be printed like this here. This series function is also over. So children like this you get very simple programs, right? The logic should be clear then it will be very easy for you to do the program. And now the third function series. Void series and empty brackets are there. That means this function is not receiving any value. And the question says this function is to display the sum of the series 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4. Now children here I have written double s equals to 0, 0.0 you have declared. For int i equals to 2i less than equals to 10. 2q because the first term is having the denominator as 2. Or the last term is having the denominator as 10. On numerator may sub may 1 hai. Right? So numerator we can take as constant value and this is variable. So looping variable will start from 2 and it will go till 10. So yaha par liya s equals to s plus 1.0 slash i. Why 1.0? If you will do only 1 slash 2 it will give you 0 answer because 
in integer division slash sign gives the quotient part, right? And agar numerator denominator se chota hoga, to quotient will be zero. Now children, here if you notice here, I have written s equals to s plus 1.0 slash i and the next statement I have written system dot out dot print ln sum of the series is s. Please pay attention, this s equals to s plus 1.0 upon i is in the loop only. So, agar loop me kewal ek statement hai, to braces are optional. Aap curly braces do ya na do, right? But, अगर एक से ज्यादा स्टेटमेंट्स हैं तो curly braces are must. Now how you will do the program? Once again I am just revising. Double slash and write the comment entry. Then class, class name अगर question में है तो class name लिखोगे. Otherwise as per your observation you can write any valid class name, appropriate class name. एक function series का लिखा ये braces over किए. Second function लिखा ये braces over किए. This is ending here. Third लिखा ये braces over किए and after that you will close the class. Don't miss to close the braces for the class. So within the class we have written three functions. First function, second function, third function. First function will be within a pair of curly braces. Second function will be within a pair of curly braces. Third function will be within the pair of curly braces. और इसके बाद क्लास का ब्रेसेस क्लोज होगा, राइट? नाउ इन दिस वी आर नॉट एक्सेप्टिंग एनी वैल्यू फ्रॉम द यूजर डायरेक्टली, राइट? द फंक्शन आर रिसीविंग द वैल्यूज, सो मेन फंक्शन इज नॉट एट ऑल नेसेसरी। एंड आफ्टर डूइंग द प्रोग्राम और बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द प्रोग्राम, प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू मेंशन द वेरिएबल डिस्क्रिप्शन टेबल। फॉर वेरिएबल डिस्क्रिप्शन टेबल, आई विल and do the program properly. So I hope all of you have understood how to do the program in proper way. So this is how you are going to do in the exam also, right? So my best wishes are with each one of you for the preparation and for the exams. If you haven't subscribed the channel till now, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you. You may join us on our telegram channel also. The link is there in the description box. Keep practicing, keep working hard. God bless you children.